What's interesting about chapter 18 is that we could take it out of Genesis completely and you really wouldn't miss it. We've already seen Abraham talk to God. We know that he promised Sarah she would give Abraham a son. We've already read about the wickedness of Sodom and Gomorrah. So we have to ask ourselves, why is it in here? While this chapter doesn't add much to the story of Lot and Abraham, it is used throughout the whole Bible as a foreshadowing or picture of the end times. First, we see Abraham eating and communing with God. What does Jesus tell the church in Revelation 3? Look, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will share a meal together as friends. Second, God reminds them of his promise that Sarah would give birth to a son. In Revelation 12, we see the symbolism of a woman giving birth. In Matthew 24, Jesus used this analogy referring to the end of the world. And finally, chapter 18, we read that God will not let his people suffer the wrath of God, which is a solid argument for the pre-tribulation rapture we see laid out throughout the structure of Revelation. And, and if you still aren't convinced that Genesis 18 is more about the end of the Bible than the beginning, listen to Jesus' words in Luke 17. And the world will be as it was in the days of Lot. People went about their daily business, eating and drinking, buying and selling, farming and building, until the morning Lot left Sodom.